What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get iOS 7 GM right now. GM stands for Gold Masters, uh, which means it is the final version of iOS 7 uh, that is going to be released. And this is going to be uh, coming out on September 18th. Right now it's available for only developers, but you can find it online. And thankfully you do not need to be connected to a developer account uh, on your iOS device to install and use this. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do it. I've actually got iOS 7 GM installed on my iPhone 5 right here, uh, ready to go. Uh, so this is a pretty easy guide. Uh, it's not gonna be that complicated. All you have to do pretty much is download iOS 7 uh, and install it via iTunes. Uh, so go ahead and click the first link in the description or take you to my site. Uh, where you can find all of the iOS 7 GM downloads. Uh, this is what it should look like. Again, the first link down below this video. Uh, right here, I've got it organized by iPhone, uh, iPod, and then iPad. And then also, if you scroll down here to the bottom, I've got iTunes. Um, that's a iTunes beta. You may need to download that if you're having some issues or anything like that uh, with updating or giving, getting errors or anything like that. So anyways, what you need to do is pick the uh, version of iOS 7 GM for your device. Uh, this one is mine. As you see right here, there's a little model number A1428. Uh, if you actually look on the back of your iPhone or whatever iOS device it is, uh, depending on which version you need for yours, uh, you can see the model number. Mine, it says right there, model A1428. Uh, so that's the one I'm going to download. Uh, these, you do not need to download every one of these. These are just alternate links in case one of them gets taken down. Uh, you go ahead and click on link one, link two, whatever you want to, whichever one it seems like it's going to be faster for you. It may take a while to download because a lot of people are trying to download it no matter how fast your internet is. But go ahead and download it uh, and you should have a .ipsw file that looks just like this. Uh, and if not, you need to like get the IPSW file out of the one that you do have, uh, the one that you downloaded. All right, now that you've got iOS 7 downloaded, you may want to save that to your desktop uh, just so you can find it a little bit easier. Uh, go ahead and plug up your iOS device to your computer uh, and you're gonna go ahead and open iTunes. Uh, so now all you have to do is pretty much hold in the Option key if you're using Mac or the Shift key if you're on Windows while clicking the Check for Update. Now, if you have a jailbroken iPhone and you're updating a jailbroken iPhone iOS 7, you're going to want to restore it. Uh, do the shift or option key depending on which computer you're using uh, and then restore. That will actually reset your phone uh, to factory settings. So that way it takes out all that jailbreak data because uh, you don't want to just leave that in there and do an update. You can, but it's just going to be sitting there on your phone. Uh, now, another thing is make sure you back up your device before you do this. Do the iCloud uh, or do iTunes or I suggest possibly do both. Uh, because you want to make sure you do not lose any contacts or data or anything like that. Uh, and this could possibly go wrong. Uh, most likely it's not going to. Uh, and then you could lose everything. Anyways, you're going to go ahead and do option and check for update. And then pretty much all you have to do is scroll and find uh, the iPhone firmware that you downloaded. Double tap on it and hit update. And then your iPhone will start updating. And there you go. Once it's done, as long as you have no errors or anything like that, you should have uh, the new version of iOS 7 GM. That's pretty much it. So there you go, like I said, it's pretty simple and easy to do. Uh, make sure you let all your friends know about this and send them this video uh, so that they can get iOS 7 also right now. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, click the like button down below, it really helps me out. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Uh, when the new iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5C comes out, I'm gonna be doing videos on all of those, like reviews and comparisons, stuff like that, to let you know if you should get them. And uh, yeah, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.